Alright, so we're back again. And, uh, I don't know where, what, where am I facing? I need to be going, I'm going somewhere. Ah, water. Actually, no, let's get some clay first. Nah, fuck it, we'll get water first. I think we already passed the clay, so let's just. It's just logical. Logical. Okay, good. Sorry, I, I did that because uh, when the mic's actually on, the headphones kind of play back a little bit of what you're, uh, what you're saying in your ears. So you can, I don't need a fishing pole, I'm not fishing. I'm getting water. And, um, one second, I need to go offline. Um, the... They play a little bit of your uh, sound back to you, and I was just testing because that's how I knew my microphones weren't work. My microphone wasn't on because uh, I was starting to feel like I, I haven't noticed that noise. It usually bugs me, and uh, for some reason I wasn't noticing. Feel it's not hearing it, feeling it. I wouldn't feel it. All right, now we got the water. We might actually still be able to get all the all the clay we need. Again, these are what this is what clay looks like. And it's actually right next to our mine, so that's nice. Well tearing, ignore it. Alpha. Now, clay is fun because it gives you, like, 60 each time you pick it up. So, yeah. Holding on, you have to be kind of clever to pick up all the clay you need. Because right now, I'm going to get up to 180, and I'm going to be 20 away from what I need. So, you see, right now, I have... 20 away, and I'm not going to be able to pick up another 60, so what I do is I drop 40. It probably would have been a lot faster to just use a slider. I recognize that. I'm sorry. So if I pour this on the ground, make sure not to dig in the same spot so I don't pick that back up. Now I pick up 200. There we go. I don't have to make a second trip for 20 freaking clay. Just what I do. Wow, that's some major world tearing right there. I find it funny that a lot of people in the forums were saying, uh, like in the Mantis bug report, for saying that that is like a major issue that needs to be fixed now. I don't I don't really care about it. I mean, yeah, it's it's not pretty, but I mean, it's not a major problem. It's almost noon here and I haven't eaten anything. I should probably do that, but food is overrated. I just froze up. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Everything is in. Now I punched the ground for a little while. Oh, oh I 
thought I was I thought I was crashing. You can tell if whether or not you're crashing or the game is the server's cra uh, like lagging. But the grass, grass is still swaying. That's something that's only client side. In other words, my computer. So if it's still going, then that means I'm fine. But once the grass stops moving, that means you've crashed. And if the grass keeps moving and no, and you're not like you're not able to move and it stays like that for a while I mean the server's probably gonna crash so yeah this is the high life of uh... life is futile punching the ground for wild plant fiber you wanna hear some of I've been watching it well I've been uh... In between, in between recording sessions, okay, let's see, I have, this is the really dull part of construction, because a lot of things are going to require wild plant fiber, it's like the most, like, necessary thing, and it's like, the most basic thing, you're literally punching like grass and trying to pick it up, and it's just frustrating when your guy fails to find it, because it's like, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't tear this grass out. Like, yeah, good job, man. I also love their animation. Like, if you look closely, he's just like... Punch! 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 Like... I, I like how the... I mean... I love this game. I'm not gonna criticize the developers, but I think that was an interesting design choice to make him punch the ground for... Um, for wild plant fibers, I think like the idea is like he's grabbing it with his left hand and then like punching it out with his left. I think like I don't know. I can't imagine what it would look like otherwise because I've only been playing with him punching it, and it seems fine. But like maybe a pulling function would have been better. I don't know. Anyways, we can almost finish our first furnace. And once we get both these furnaces done, we're going to jump over back to Rastislav. Actually, no, no, we're going to stay here, and we're going to get our construction up. Hey, hey, hey. Furnace number one. Here's your plant fiber. Again, I have to make the important decision. Do I cut here and stop content or bore you with me punching the ground? <laughs> and I'm thinking I cut here because this is a little boring. And I'll come back when I have 15 construction. That will be less boring. So we'll get some rocks going into our uh, forge and uh, we'll probably. Uh, Spam some skill up. Spam forges, not like build them out, but like main, mostly build them out. And then, um, yeah. That will be our way of getting our construction skill up. We just have to get up to 15 first, because once you. It's really frustrating that this thing doesn't actually tell you everything, and you need to go to the wiki. There's like several sub levels of these. Um, like at 15, you can get build a forge, and like that's something you would never know from this. What does it mean? Can repair unmovable objects? I think that's something that they haven't implemented yet. So, because I don't think you can damage unmovable objects yet, which I think is kind of. I don't know. I can't wait till they get sieges in, but I don't think it'll be for a while. Because, uh. I don't know. It's difficult right now. Like, 
There's a little, there used to be like a lot of insecurity in castles, but they're making it so that like castles are a lot more like secure, which is makes sense. But now they're impregnable, and I've just been thinking about this. Like one time I was I was playing kind of alone. I had a friend, and he was part of like this big group, and there was yeah, they, had, they had a big castle, and like they were like building up, and they wanted me with them so that they could like I could join them in their raids. And, uh, like, I was thinking about it, like, that sounds cool, woohoo, let's go, let's go kill some jerks. But, uh, like, now that they've, like, nerfed all this stuff, which I agree with, it's like, castles are impregnable, almost. Unless you want to be really cheatsy. And then you're just being an asshole, and that's not fun. So it's kind of like, they're making castles invincible right now. Which I feel like is the first step, because you can't have them super incredibly vulnerable to like people to anyone. Like, cause right at first it was like anyone could get in the castle. It was like it made no difference that you had a castle really, and that that was that that's just not cool. But uh, they're trying to fix that, and now, well, now that they have pretty much fixed it. It just means that they're impregnable, and I, I don't know what where I want it, right now. I just know sieges are needed, <laughs> but I know that's not that's a big demand for something that's not really gonna happen for a little bit. We're gonna inspect a tree, cause to do what I need to do, I need a lot of sticks. This one's got a lot of sticks. See what our inventory is like. All right, so I'm gonna actually drop forestry because I don't think it's a skill we need. And uh, I'm gonna cancel the recording here because I'm basically gonna be collecting sticks for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, here we go. This should be the last fence. So I hammer this in, and then we should be at 15. Come on, watch it be like 14.9 something, and I'm gonna have to have record this for no reason. Probably just delete it and redo it then. And be all hyped again, because it's, it's almost done. Oh, I didn't eat an apple. It's gonna eat an apple. Oh no, our food quality multiplier. I knew it, it's because of the quality. Damn it. Well, I'm not gonna waste another apple now. Well, you get to watch the entire process, and this is what I've been doing. Required a lot of sticks. I got like over a hundred sticks, which apparently was overkill. But I didn't know, and I was just watching YouTube while my d my dude was collecting sticks. I had no control. There we go. Sometimes you can't like select the ground very well. I see why people complain about construction now. And it being dumb. And mallets being dumb. Because mallets, mallets are what you use to construct roads. I think I've already told you guys. And uh, it requires bone glue. Which, to get that, requires pro procreation. Procreation, excuse me, not procreation. It's something totally different. Um, and that's way down here. So you need to get farming, animal lore, and this. And to get animal lore, you need to have at least 50 construction to make coops. So basically, there's no way to get the stuff that you need to get construction up until you have a lot of construction. Unless you want to grind this. Don't grind against this fence. It's not. It, you'll get a lot of splinters. But yay! Deconstru deconstruct. All right. Now we run happily back up to our mine. And actually, no. Let's first place a. Let's place a forge down here. Ooh, this means I'm actually going to have to think about how I'm laying everything out. Let's actually. Oh, I don't know. 
really don't know. Let's set down a, uh, I heard someone say observe is broken. Oh, it's not broken. It's just weird. Um, we'll be right here. and We'll flatten it to this level. I'm gonna... No, this isn't, this isn't center. You make it center with the fields. Um, let's actually have it farther back too. Actually, I don't know. Fuck it, we're gonna just go get our construction skill up. We're not gonna worry about making a forge yet. Because I don't know what I want to do with my place yet. And we'll get an anvil force first. Or will it? I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I totally didn't think this out. <laughs> Five time. That was such a waste. Now I'm gonna have to sit here and wait. Well, I, I'm going to level up my construction skill a bit, and uh, again, I'm going to be gone while I do this, because all I'm going to be doing is the same thing I was just doing with those, uh, um, what do you call it, those fences. I'm going to just build a forge here, pick up stone, put it in, construct the stone, deconstruct the whole thing, start over, and do that until I get a high enough level to do stuff. How long does this thing last? Five more seconds. I can put stomp thaw on while I'm doing that, yeah. Alright. So, do you guys want to watch this? I don't know. Let's see. Observe. These two are basically the same. So I'll go down here. I'm going to flatten the ground. So just to let you know, those uh, numbers represent how high it is from the from sea level. So uh, usually there's little squares around them, but it appears that the update has somewhat broken it. And usually it also like those squares will signify whether or not it's flattened or not or whether or not it's uh too steep for any construction or if there's like stuff blocking it all right now we stand there we go here we flatten this and if you have no idea what I'm doing that's totally fine there we go now this is too flat so I can go construct forge an anvil appears even that thing's kind of broken oh, well, they'll probably have an update soon alright so I guess I'll be back in a little bit then See you guys.